Daniel Mookie, New South Wales Shadow Treasurer. Yesterday, the Parliamentary Budget Office made clear that under Mr Perrottet and Mr Keane, New South Wales will have bigger deficits, bigger debt, which is a recipe for more privatisation and more wage suppression. The budget is $1.4 billion better under Labor. Debt is $5 billion lower than under Mr Perrottet and Mr Keane. The only way this government can pay for its unfunded infrastructure and to deal with the exploding debt is to privatise assets like Sydney Water. In addition to that, overnight, a close examination of the government's costing has revealed big issues with their principal cost of living relief, which is their energy rebate. Mr Keane and Mr Perrottet promised, as recently as last week, that every household in New South Wales will get that $250. We read the fine print today and learn that 1.2 million households have been left out altogether. It's another example of Mr Perrottet saying what he has to before the election, intending to do something completely opposite afterwards. Equally, Matt Keane has made clear that there is no additional money coming to upgrade Western Sydney hospitals and Western Sydney schools. Under Labor, Fairfield Hospital, Canterbury Hospital, Rouse Hill Hospital, Mount Druitt, Blacktown, all get additional funding. Under Mr Keane, they have to continue to persist under the same tough conditions they have for the last 12 years. Mr Keane and Mr Perrottet are offering no change. To every police officer, paramedic, nurse and teacher in this state, they're saying that a vote for them is a vote for four more years of wage suppression. At the same time, we have record shortages hitting our schools, hitting our hospitals, hitting our police stations. Mr Perrottet and Mr Keane are offering more of the same.